Hey there, my webcrafting wizards. Do you want to sell a product online, but you don't want to go through the hassle of investing a lot of time into it or, you know, God forbid, hire a developer. Well, in today's episode, I'll show you how you can get this done quickly in just a couple of minutes, set up your own products, your own store using Wix Studio. So let's get going. Okay, so let's get started. So we're gonna be heading over to Wix Studio. And what are the main advantages of this over, you know, you doing it all yourself? Well, if you do it all yourself, you're gonna need to manage your users. You're gonna need to keep track of payments and set all of that up by yourself. And that's a lot of hassle and worry, right? If you just wanna sell your product and not worry about it, just see your money coming in, this is a great place to start. So we're gonna create a new website. So we're gonna head over to Wix Studio, my workspace right here. And at the top here, we're just gonna create a new site and I'm gonna choose a studio template. Now there's a bunch of predefined ones here that you can choose from if you, if you like the style of one, but let's just create one from scratch so you can see how this is set up. So the first thing you wanna do is enable the e-commerce feature on the website because by default, it's just gonna be a static page. So let's head over to the left panel here and we're gonna open up the My Business section here and we're gonna enable Wix stores. After you enable that, you're gonna see that this page pops up with a bunch of products here already added for you. So it's gonna generate it for you automatically and then you just need to update the pictures and the price and the description of those images. But if you wanted to see all the pages, you can head over here to the left tab again and open this up. And as you can see on the pages here, you have your home page now, we have a category page automatically set up for us a card page as well, a thank you page that you can customize. So that's super cool. Let's just head back over to the home page right now. So let's click here. And as you can see, we have a user, a login bar here, which is pretty cool. But we also have a, a shopping icon here. So this is basically gonna update automatically and dynamically uh, when the user adds a product to their cart, it's gonna be popped up here. And if I just preview this, you're gonna see it. Uh, if I just click on this button, you're going to see the side panel pop up. So that's great. If you want to further customize this and like add the color to it and to match the theme of your website, you can just go here in the settings. And if you head to the mini cart to the design section here, let's kind of choose like a light orangey color for this. So we can all customize this here. So let's pick that orange and I'm going to do the same for the login bar here. So let's do set up login bar. There we go. And as you can see here, we can also add the name. Uh, we can add only the initials if we want to. But for now, let's just style this and change the color over to orange. Next up, what I'll do is I'll just drag in an empty container here. I'll change the background. Let's just do it black so we can see it and extend this out. I want this to be my nav bar instead of this. So let's just go to the corners here. I'm gonna make it 24 like that, nice and rounded. And essentially I'm gonna move everything from here inside the container down below. So let's take that, let's take that. And we'll also add a nice logo here. So we can take this top section now and just get rid of it. Now that we have this, what we can also do is extend the section here to take up the whole height of the screen. So the way we can do that is just head over here and add a min height of 100 VH. That's gonna take up the whole space of the viewport. Next up, what I'm gonna do is just insert an image here as a background for this section. So let's go here and upload the media, again, depending on what you wanna sell. So let's make a beauty product store. Clearly, I'm an expert on that. <laughs> uh, so I found this image that looks really cool, but this little thingy here is blocking it. Eyeshadow? What is that? I don't know. But we'll delete it. So you can use Photoshop or like Affinity Photo to just get rid of this. There we go. That's looking much better. And we'll update it and then we'll put a nice big text here at the bottom. There we go, that's looking much better. And now we can just add a nice big title here to the front of the page. So let's put it kind of here. Okay, so now that this part of the page is complete, we can go down here and add another section and we'll add our products in here. So go to the left side of the panel and we are gonna drag in, if we head over here to store, as you can see, you have related products, slider products, we're gonna do the grid one. So let's drag this in. This is automatically gonna get the images from your store. So you can just go and update these if you want. So let's put it down here. I'll also grab the section up here at the top and I'll add a position type of sticky to it. So now when we scroll down, it's gonna have this really cool effect 
of this page coming on top of it like that. See, super cool. So let's customize these images. Um, again, you can upload your own depending what product you have, but the way you do it is you grab this section here, the grid gallery, and then you go over to manage products, okay? From the managed products here, you can change the inventory status, the price, if it's a physical or digital product, but we can also go here and add multiple images to one product, which is really cool. So when you hover over it, it's automatically gonna uh, show the second image. So let's just get rid of these. And again, I'll just go and upload some of my own. So I ended up adding a bunch of different products here and changing their images. Now, one more thing I wanted to show you, you can also add these products in their own categories and dynamically display those on the front of your page. So if you head over here to categories, uh, as you can see, we have all the products, which is the default that's gonna be given to you. But here I can go and do moisturizers. I can upload a custom image for the moisturizer as well. So maybe we'll do that and let's add the products. Uh, so <laughs> not sure which one's a moisturizer here, but I'll add, let's do these, these three here. Okay. And let's hit save. Let's create another one because there's some oil based products. So I'll just name it oil. Okay. Don't judge me. I'll just say oil. So let's give this a go. If we refresh the page now and have a look, as you can see, when we scroll down, all of our products got updated and look at that. And the second image is showing through when I hover over as well. I added the same one there, but it works. So let's try to click on this image. There we go. We can add this to the cart. We can also change the styling on these to have that orange uh, primary color, but let's add to the cart and see if this works. And look at that. It shows up right there for us. So other than changing the button here, we are good to go. So now that we have all of this set up, I also want to show you how you can add the categories maybe down here below. Let's also add a little title here at the top. So let's drag this section down. There we go. And we'll pop a title here at the top. So let's go here. We're going to go to quick add and drop in a title. I'll attach it to the section. So let's display out these categories. So let's say we have one here with uh, moisturizers. Moisturizers. Sure, I sorry, I misspelled that. There we go. And then let's do another one here. And then let's call this makeup. Okay, I just want to show you how you can do this. So let's say we have two sections here like that. So what we can do is head over here to the top again. We're going to go to the store. We're going to drag in a slider this time rather than a normal one. So now that these two are dragged in, what we can do is select these and go over to settings. And here on the slider gallery now on the display, as you can see, we can customize these as well if we want to display like the name and the provider of the product, if we want to do gallery titles. But what we can also do is filter out all products here and just select the moisturizers. Let's go over to products again. And then here we're going to search all the oil based products. And that's it. And that's going to update it for us. And as you can see, if you head over to the category page, all the filters are automatically going to be applied for you, which is fantastic. Now let's just quickly go on the product page and adjust the colors over so it matches the aesthetic of our website. So here, again, this uh, card button here should match that orange color that we had. So there we go. Simple change there. And we'll just go through these and make sure everything is consistent. So there we go. In a couple of minutes, we successfully set up a full e-commerce store where you can sell your products. You can share it with your friends. Hopefully someone will buy it. Let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching this episode and I'll catch you in the next one.